All right, six shooter Texan. We're here to shoot the Mr. Revolver Guy 22 Long Rifle Challenge. Going to be using my Glenfield Model 60. This one is 42 years old. We're going to be using this Federal Black Pack 22 Long Rifle. It says 1260 feet per second. So. Let's get loaded up and let's get to shooting. Okay, we've taken some practice shots. Got it all barrel fouled back up because I cleaned it all good before we came out here. Uh, I can already tell you this federal bulk ammo is bulk ammo. From shot to shot, you yeah, I could feel the difference. So there was some, and I had one already. Didn't go off. Didn't have any problems with this stuff when I shot my uh, in my Ruger single six in the steel challenge. I shot 125 rounds, not a problem. But in the rifle, it's showing up. So we'll see. Got 15 loaded. I shoot top five, three three diamonds. Load five more. Shoot the next one. Is it help put one in the chamber? Uh oh. We're going to be one short. Nope, that was another dud from last round. Uh oh. Hmm. Woodpecker over here somewhere. That was lousy. Oh man, that was lousy. I think I got one inside the square. that one that was way way off on the power wow lost count now Let's go one more here. I'm going to go check the targets, I reload, I'm going to shoot the next five. <clears throat> Alright, last five.
All right, let's go down range and look at the target. All right, pretty bad. Well, at least the, the last five wasn't too bad. This is a third set. One's way over there. You got one, two, three, four, five, and then five. That's bad, because I know that gun shoots better than that with CCI mini mags. All right, we're back from the range from the Mr. Revolver Guy ch Challenge. And boy, it was pathetic. This Federal ammo, it worked great in my pistol. Short distance, 10 yards, it was okay ammo. But in the rifle, man, you can tell that it was definitely not good quality stuff. I could tell the difference between shot and shot. One be a high velocity, the next thing almost sounded like a dud. I actually had a couple misfires. <clears throat> After I shot the target, I loaded it up just to blink at, at 100 yards, and I started it started jamming. It jammed so bad I had to get screwdrivers and stuff to to pry the a bullet out of the out of the system so that stuff is not going back in my rifle now, it works fine for my <clears throat> blinking and 22 steel challenge but that's it anyway here's the target Let's see if we can get it here that's the first five here's the second five third five and then the fourth that's an inch and seven mates. See if we can get it on camera here. Inch and seven mates. Let me hold it there, butter. Inch and seven mates. That is not very good. One and seven eighths. Oh well. Whenever I do these challenges, <clears throat> I don't take a hundred targets out there and finally pick the best one. That was my one and only target. This is the one I'm turning in. Sure, I could just go back and buy me some more ammo and try again. Fun is, if you was at the at, at a competition, that's your only chance. So that's the way I, I shoot it when I shoot these types of matches. So. Anyway, we had fun today. Thanks for watching.